Hello everybody, welcome to another daily video, late in the evening. It's becoming a habit. Um, yeah, there won't be, as you can tell, there won't be that many of these uh, right now, um, as I'm moving directly, directly into a busy town. Uh, <laughs> It's just uh, not happening. Um, I should have seen this coming. Typical December stuff. Everybody wants to get stuff done at the end of the year. So I've got suddenly um, work to do. Um, you know, got contracts, uh, things people want me to do. And also I had some stuff planned, so that's also already there. So now it's like extra stuff and it's just a lot to do. Um, so today I um, I ran around a bit. I cleaned up in the house. I did some writing. Um, I had to do for a job. Uh, I did some, uh, some preparing uh, for the panel i'm hosting on thursday um so did some some prep work for that i'm gonna go to Han hanover um and it's gonna be at least most of the speakers will be there um of course the event is streamed uh but most of the people will be there in studio so that's pretty cool um and then i'm staying there overnight and yeah, so that's pretty exciting. Over the weekend, my discovery review went live for Heise. Um, as usual, I'm going to put a link below the video to the forum post where you can leave comments. And there will also be further links like this Heise story, which is, of course, in German. Um, it garnered quite a lot of interest, um, a lot of shouting at me. Um, but also, I had some really nice feedback. I had some people saying that this was the first review of the series that they agreed with ever. Um, there were some people saying that uh, obviously my love and expertise of Star Trek showed through, uh, including a guy who's been, uh, been writing about Star Trek prof professionally for a long time. So I was kind of happy with that. Um, then this morning I had a very interesting interaction. I had somebody... Um, message me on Facebook saying um, that my review is like really bad and you know and and, and admitting uh, this guy admitted that he hadn't seen a single episode uh, of Discovery but I would I, I was way too negative and that was not the way to do it and basically explaining my job and then at the end um telling me uh, I should quit my job and I was like how does why does this guy think he knows so I'm looking him up and he's like a, a CEO of a um uh industrial alcohol uh production several facilities in Germany um a friend of mine who I I, I sent this because I found it amusing uh, said he 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 must have been tasting too much of his own product. <laughs> um, yeah, what triggered me a little bit was um, so. In case you don't speak German, um, we have this peculiar thing where if, when you address somebody, you can say "z" or you can say "du." Um, now "du" is more colloquial. Um, it's now used a lot more than it used to be. It used to be that you always called somebody "z." Um, unless you knew them personally. You'd have to offer somebody the do. You know, you'd have to tell them, um, let's, why don't we, you know, say do, and that would be a very personal thing. Um, IKEA, I think in the almost, I think it's 70s, 80s, started calling everybody do on their whole promotional material and in the store, and that was a very edgy thing back then. Now, I don't like Z. Um, because I spend a lot of time, you know, in Australia and England and in English, that's not a thing. And the English just feels a lot more like do to me. Um, so I, I, I use that with everybody except people. I uh, either either if it's a very spe like a very formal situation, 
like you know you're very formal like you know an, an official or you know at work or something like like very, even at work like really official like the ceo or something or i use it for people i have a little bit of um, grudging disdain for you know like tax officials or something like that or maybe the police you know you you'd use that otherwise they get pissed and you don't want that um Pissed in the American sense, not drunk, you know, like pissed off with you. Um, but usually I don't use it and I don't. So what I hate is, and I get this a lot in my job, I get people commenting on stuff I write and they use Z, which you know would be a normal thing. Uh, you know, in polite conversation, you do that, except it's really old fashioned. So nobody really does it anymore, especially on the internet, like on a Facebook direct message. Nobody fucking does that. Um, but people use it in a passive-aggressive way where they um, outwardly give the experience, uh, the uh, the um, appearance to respect you by using the, and then they're like really fucking rude or um, say inappropriate things. And I kind of couch that in Z as, I don't know what it is. It's a, I think it's a bit of a defense mechanism, right? So that it, that they can claim they weren't really rude because they respected you because, you know, they used the formal Z, um, you know, but if somebody writes me who has no fucking experience, as far as I can tell about journalism, hasn't even watched the TV show of, I'm writing about and then recommends I quit my job because I'm so bad at it and then says Z, uh, that really pisses me off. Um, so I told him, him very politely that with all due respect, just because, you know, I drink a scotch or, you know, a lovely French Bordeaux in the evening uh, doesn't mean I'm going around on his Facebook and DMing him and, and telling him how to, like, distill alcohol, right? So you shouldn't fucking do that about me. <laughs> that was just weird. Especially because it wasn't, like, a troll account. It was an actual guy with his fucking, like, you know, he had he had his fucking corporate his company title in the fucking description it's like really weird um <laughs> yeah the fun uh the fun you experience when you write for hundreds of thousands of people uh, hundreds of thousands of people although you know i i was i was um um pleasantly surprised by the amount of good feedback i got like either you know, saying they liked it or, you know, they disagreed but gave good reasons. Like, the most people who, like, really vehemently disagree, like this guy, sometimes they don't, they even admit they haven't even watched the show. But, like, mostly they just don't um, interact with my arguments, right? They don't respond to my arguments. Their main argument seems to be that it is not good to criticize a TV show. Who am I to criticize a TV show? Right, and if you read my stuff on there, it it you know I, I say that in quite a few reviews. So if you read other ones, um, you know that you know that I'm a lifelong Star Trek fan. That I've you know when I was about ten, um, I would dress up in my uh, uh, late Voyager era. You know the gray uh, from the from the movies. You know the gray uh, uniform. I, well, not Voyager area, but that. Voyager, they still had the old uniforms because they were away. But, you know, that uniform, and I would sit down to watch Voyager when first aired on German TV, like on my parents' couch. Um, I was a real nerd. Um, so I love Star Trek. Interestingly, um, while I was talking with somebody on Twitter who had really constructive feedback, um, who was talking about the turbo lift scene, I thought I'd mentioned that in a previous review, but apparently I haven't. I remember that I rented about it. it might have been a YouTube video, actually. You know, the fucking turbo lifts where they're like the spaces between the turbo. I think this is Discovery season two or three. I don't know. The fucking space in between the turbo lifts is bigger than the actual ship. And it's like, you're like. I mean, that just broke everything for me that made me so mad um anyway i was looking that up and i was looking other stuff up because we were talking about he said at first he was giving the show a chance and was like really um actually hoping it would go somewhere and i was like i, I remember being a little bit like that so i read my first review of season one of discovery on heise and it is surprisingly I, i'm very positive on the show i'm like this is really good script writing um I mean, I saw some of the problems from the beginning, you know, the DSX Mechanon and stuff like that, but I was full of hope. 
Um, and I think the first season actually might have been better. I might have, I might have to go back at some point and rewatch it, compare it. So I don't think it's certainly not great, but I think it it had potential. Um, yeah, they squandered that potential. Anyway, so that was fun. I I didn't read any about any of this on the weekend. I had to catch up with all of that today, um, because I wasn't around on the weekend. Um visiting the in-laws in the middle of nowhere um no but that was cool they have a sauna so got to go in the sauna sauna that was good um i did some <laughs> on friday before we left i was handling some files actual paper files and i cut myself in my finger you know paper cut but like a relatively deep one and you know sometimes paper cuts i don't know what it is when i cut myself with a knife often um, it'll easier like the the wound will heal easier. Sometimes with paper cuts, they tend to just like stay open, and like the skin at the at the edge just dies and it doesn't knit together easily. Um, well, I, I I had that going on, but the problem was on Friday when we drove down or up to the in-laws, um, it was really windy, and when we stopped at a um, at a fuel station, whatever, you know, I, um, I opened the car door and it, I held it. I, I, I had like my hand in the frame and I held it open with the other hand, but it was so windy that I wasn't expecting it to be that windy. I mean, even though I was driving and I, you know, the car's very wind. it's a van. So it's, I should have known anyway. So the door slips out of my grip and slams like on my other hand it wasn't that bad because i caught it with the other hand before it fully slammed otherwise it would have been like really bad it might have even broken like this very heavy door uh but i i, I caught it but it slammed into the very paper cut again it's actually it's 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 pretty much healed now you can't really see it but it was like kind of fucking i i slammed it open with the with the door again it was like for a fucking paper cut it was like it's, it started to get infected and shit it was really bad um Anyway, first word, first word problems, but uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's the thing. And otherwise, I'm just um, busy working at stuff. You know, the fucking uh, hosting the uh, that that panel and um, writing things. And uh, I've got an article to write before I leave on Thursday, which is gonna be. Um, a challenge but i'm gonna do it and also i'm gonna not go to bed now because what i want to do now actually i have to write some emails still but after that um i i what i want to do is put more of the my nano, the stuff i wrote for my novel uh during nanowrimo um i'm trying to compile uh put that in my menu you know i have a manuscript of the novel and I kind of have to put that in there in, in into Scrivener and compile the manuscript so I can make a um, make another manuscript I can edit, you know, that I print out and also an ebook version. Because my wife um, wanted to read what I have so far and I need an ebook ebook for that. I don't think I managed that tonight, but I'll, you know, I need to put copy more in, do the formatting and do some preliminary editing and it always takes longer than you think what else happened today that was pretty much it i did some boxing exercises today oh yeah slapped my hand hand open a little bit <laughs> happens um yeah oh another thing i started reading the last expanse book which came out i think last week and um I actually the the previous one, the eighth one, actually, I that was the first expand book I had to put down for a new, new few months because it like really, I didn't really didn't like like it. It kind of aggravated me. Um, but then a while ago I finished it, and now I've, I'm reading book nine. Or I've just started, but um, actually I thought I would be really sad. Um, a few years ago I thought you know when the final book comes out I'll be really sad, and I'm reading this now and I'm I'm okay. Uh, I think I'm happy with the series ending. Um, I think it needs to end. Um, I think if that dragged 
drag drag it out drag drag it out, drag it out drag it out longer um it would have been worse i am looking forward to finishing this i'm actually more interested in reading this book than the previous one um just to see how it ends and um yeah what else can i say i like that alex is still in it uh, i'm not looking forward to watching the expanse scene six on uh, amazon which is going to be the final season. I'm going to have to do that. I'm probably going to review it as well. Um, but yeah, I don't... Not happy with, you know, how they killed of Alex and why they did that. And that they only have one season and they have a lot of material left. I don't know how they're going to end it, but I doubt I'm going to be satisfied. I think I'll be much more satisfied with the, with the book, actually. But we'll see. So far, I'm... I'm actually quite enjoying the book. Um, yeah, that's it. I'll see you soon. I don't know when. Might be a while. Might actually be a week. So much going on. No fucking clue. I'm going to try to get a haircut tomorrow. Nobody knows what I need. Do I need a test? Do I need to be vaccinated and have a test? Apparently not. That's what the city says. But the hairdresser says something else. So I might have to cut my own hair. I don't know. But I need I need to do something before I go to Hanover. Um, we'll see. Anyway, see you soon, I hope. Until then, take care. Live long and prosper. Uh, aim, aim to misbehave. And uh, yeah, have a fucking good time. Goodbye.